In this video, we are going to see how we can reconcile the bank with our records so that it there is any discrepancy between the receipts and payments. We can see some of the receipts or payments in our records, but not in the bank statement, or we can see some of the bank statement records that uh, we have not recorded. We can make these adjustments accordingly. So on our left hand uh, corner, we have this banking section. From here, just if we scroll down, we have cash, bank, and all these uh, bank accounts here, basically. Whatever you want to reconcile, just click on that bank. And from here, you can add some of the transactions if you want to, like some expenses, some returns, card payments, or anything, if you already know about it. You can also import the statement and then it will automatically reconcile or match the balances and that's an amazing feature in Zuhu. But we are going to see just the manual procedure. After that, just click on the settings or gear icon and click on reconcile the accounts. Here we just click on reconcile now and it's just guiding you what you need to do. Click on reconcile now. We just need to enter the start date from the period you want to reconcile. Just enter the start date, uh, end date and what the closing balance should be according to the bank statement. So let's say the bank statement shows the total balance of 250,000. After that, just click on start reconciliation. And here is the difference amount. So let's say that we found this balance. This is whatever deposit or receipt. So let's say that we found it in the bank statement. We will just click on that. So let's say this balance is 1647,000. I'm just taking an example so that we can easily match that and click on start reconciliation. And what we need to do is just hold your bank statement, whether it's in the PDF form or in a paper form and just match the balances one by one. Let's say whatever is the deposit shown in your bank statement and you can see in, in your records as well, you can just select that, that this one is cleared and it will be shown in the cleared amount and same goes for the payments. Right now I only have few transactions so I can show you the example of only that uh, just matches with your bank statement and let's say we found this kind of payment as well and now the difference is zero. Now it's not necessary that every time the difference will be zero there will be difference in that case you can just add the transaction if there is a deposit or withdrawal that you feel is missing that is recorded in the bank statement but you accidentally didn't record it in your records. Or sometimes these are some kind of charges that you only know when you see the actual bank statement. So that might be uh, some of the cases where you can add it by just looking at the bank statement and you uh, can do that. Also, it's not necessary that each of the balance should match. Sometimes there is a timing difference. That means you have made the payment but since the vendor has not deposited it in their bank, so it's not cleared from the bank yet. So that might be timing difference in that case. If you want to match it to zero, you just need to uncheck that particular transaction because it is not presented in the bank yet. So after doing all of this, just click on the reconcile button. And there it should show you the reconciliation period is done. And if you want to see the details or print the reconciliation sheet you can print it like this and it will show us this reconciliation summary so that's a mini version of it because i only had two transactions but otherwise you can just explore if you have a lot of transactions you can just practice it on here just try doing different things let's say united bank limited we have this gear icon, we can click on reconcile report, start with the reconciliation, and we can specify the period, let's say from 1st of January till the current date. And let's say the bank statement closing balance is 65,000. So click on start reconciliation. And we have a couple of balances right here. And you can do the same for other banks as well. But the procedure is pretty much the same. Now I want you to try it by yourself just enter a couple of uh, payments and receipts so that you can see even more transactions. So just try this by yourself and I'll see you in the next one.